Dave Chang here, and I'm gonna cook mashed potatoes in the any day IO. This is, without a doubt, the staple of using the any day. I am not boiling my mashed potatoes. I'm not ever gonna make mashed potatoes in boiling water ever again, because effectively a microwave is just a steamer, and this is an amazing vehicle to help accelerate and to cook these potatoes without any water. It's super fast. You don't even have to peel them, but I'm gonna peel my potatoes and we're gonna get started. If I had new potatoes or Red Bliss potatoes, I'm just going to cook it in the any day um, without peeling it. Rinse them off. You don't have to chop these up, but when you have a lot of volume in the microwave, it's going to slow it down a little bit. Does not have to be perfect knife cuts at all. It's all gonna be smashed up. I'm not gonna season this. There's no need, because I'm gonna season it uh, after it's cooked. And I'm gonna put this in for about eight minutes. Knob up, ready to go. And the beautiful thing about cooking anything in the microwave, especially in the any day, is how a microwave works. It really just heats the water molecules inherent in the food. Potatoes have a lot of water in them, so I'm cooking the potatoes and the water in them, and I don't have to induce any moisture to it. There's no H2O, so it's as pure as can be. One of my early chefs that I work for drilled into my head. You wanna add as much fat as possible before it starts to break. I'm probably not gonna do that here, but many restaurants do that. It is almost 51% potatoes to 49% fat. I'm gonna add a healthy amount of butter and cream. If you don't have cream, no problem, butter and milk would work. But I have a hard time imagining how you make mashed potatoes without butter. You need to have butter. So I added about five minutes because I cooked two more potatoes than I originally planned. It's always important to lift the lid with a towel when you're cooking something like mashed potatoes because it's extremely hot. I'm gonna just throw in some butter and continue to mount this in with some cream. It's a lot of salt but this takes a lot of salt. Believe it or not, I might add a little bit more salt. Add in my remaining butter, and I might thin this out with a little milk. Another trick if you're making really shiny potatoes that are passed and really smooth is to mount in some extra virgin olive oil. It gives it this really nice sheen. I'm gonna add a little milk, whole milk. And whenever I add liquid to this, I always do the slow rowboat. You just need to slowly incorporate that liquid so it gets absorbed. What may seem like too much is not at all. Um, you're also working the starches inherent in the potatoes. And as it starts to get incorporated, I can now smash down. And you can do this as, <laughs> as little or as much as you'd like. I'm not adding any pepper. I've worked for chefs before where they add white pepper. I just don't think that's necessary. That's how I'm gonna serve my mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving this year. In fact, I've done it the past two years. This is the best mashed potato recipe you'll ever make. It's efficient in time, energy, and cleanup. I can cook the potatoes in the any day, I can mash the potatoes in the any day, and I can serve the potatoes in the any day. It doesn't get much simpler than that. One of the real workhorses in my home kitchen, mashed potatoes in the any day.